Apple A16 versus M1 chip. You surely don't want to miss that. In this video, we're going to take a specific look at the new Apple A16 Bionic chip and see how it compares to the old M1. Hey there! Welcome to Tech My Tech. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Apple A16 Bionic chip and seeing how it compares to the old M1. Now, I know that a lot of you are curious about what kind of improvements have been made, so let's not waste any time and jump right in. First, let's see the M1 chip and its features. The M1 chip is a new type of processor designed by Apple. It offers significant improvements over previous generations of processors including increased speed and efficiency. The M1 chip is also the first processor to feature built-in intelligence, which allows it to learn and adapt to new tasks. This means that the M1 chip is not only faster and more efficient, but also smarter than any other processor on the market. In addition to its improved performance, the M1 chip also supports a new type of software called Universal Apps. Universal Apps are designed to work across all Apple devices, including iPhone, iPad, and Mac. This means that you can buy an app once and use it on all of your devices. The M1 chip is truly a breakthrough product that will change the way we use computers. And now, the A16 Bionic chip and its features. The A16 Bionic chip is a new processor that Apple has released. It is faster and more powerful than the previous A15 chip, and it also has a new neural engine. The A16 Bionic chip is used in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. It is also used in the iPad Pro. The A16 Bionic chip has a quad-core CPU and a six-core GPU. It is made up of two high-performance cores and two low-power cores. The high-performance cores are 40% faster than the high-performance cores in the A15 chip. The low-power cores are 70% faster than the low-power cores in the A15 chip. The A16 Bionic chip also has a new neural engine. The neural engine is used for machine learning tasks. It is 10 times faster than the neural engine in the A15 chip. When we compare the A16 Bionic chip to the M1 chip, here's what we find. The A16 Bionic chip is a new generation of mobile processor designed by Apple. It is used in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. The main difference between the A16 Bionic chip and the M1 chip is that the A16 Bionic chip has six cores, while the M1 chip has four cores. The A16 Bionic chip is also faster than the M1 chip with a clock speed of 2.34 GHz compared to the M1 chip's 2.26 GHz. However, the A16 Bionic chip is not as energy efficient as the M1 chip, with a power consumption of 2.96 watts compared to the M1 chip's 1.8 watts. Now, what about the A16 Bionic chip and M1 respective applications? As we said earlier, the A16 Bionic chip and M1 are both powerful processors used in a variety of applications. The A16 Bionic chip is used in iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, while M1 is used in iPad Pro and MacBook Air. The A16 Bionic chip is a 64-bit ARM V processor, while M1 is a 64-bit ARM V. I processor. The A16 Bionic chip has a 6-core CPU and a 4-core GPU, while M1 has an 8-core CPU and a quad-core GPU. The A16 Bionic chip is manufactured by DSMC, while M1 is manufactured by Samsung. And the A16 Bionic chip is used in iOS devices, while M1 is used in macOS devices. Now, what are the pros and cons of each chip? Every new iPhone release comes with a new processor, and the iPhone 12 is no different. The iPhone 12 is powered by the A14 Bionic chip, which is a significant upgrade from the A13 Bionic found in the iPhone 11. The A14 Bionic is a 6-core CPU with a 4-core GPU, and it's 30% faster than the A13 Bionic. It's also 40% more energy efficient. The A14 Bionic is made up of 5 nanometers process nodes, which makes it one of the most powerful mobile processors on the market. The iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max are powered by the M1 chip, which is a 7-core CPU with an 8-core GPU. The M1 chip is 20% faster than the A14 Bionic, and 30% more energy efficient. The M1 chip is also made up of 5 nanometers process nodes, which makes it one of the most powerful mobile processors on the market. However, there are some drawbacks to the M1 chip. One is that it doesn't have an integrated modem, so it can't connect to 5G networks. Another drawback is that it doesn't support Blu-ray or Tensory Lankarupi's playback. Despite these drawbacks, 
the M1 chip is still a powerful processor that offers a significant performance boost over the A14 Bionic. Finally, between the A16 Bionic chip and M1, which one is better? When it comes to processors, there are a few options out there. However, two of the most popular right now are the A16 Bionic chip and the M1 chip. So, which is better? Well, it honestly depends on what you need it for. If you're looking for something that is good for general use, then the A16 Bionic chip is a great option. It's fast and efficient and can handle most tasks without any issues. However, if you need something that is specifically designed for gaming or other high-powered applications, then the M1 chip is the better option. It's more expensive, but it offers a significant performance boost that is well worth the price tag. Ultimately, the best processor for you depends on your individual needs and budget. The A16 Bionic chip is faster and more efficient than the M1. However, there are still some areas Areas where the M1 outperforms the A16. What's your view on that? Comment below to let us know which you think is better.